What's up, world? This is Black Knight coming to you. Um, I'm a little bit under the, under the weather right now. I have been for a minute, but I just want to make a quick response video to this whole uh, Bibles in the Air talk, controversy, situation, whatever you want to call it. Uh, one of the first things I want to say is that I love the Lord with all my heart. I do have a very strong relationship with Him. I do get it in with Him on a, a constant basis. But I, I do see the hand of the enemy uh, trying to bring division and controversy um, and strife to this into the body. And that's what this video is for. This video is for to clarify and to clear up all of the opinions and the comments that people have out there. Um, just to let you know, people's opinions, comments, perceptions is different from the truth um, and the truth of the matter is is that i did not bite tp's bibles in the air i first heard tp's version back in 2008 when it first came out um, um i liked it i thought it i thought it do was from cali until i heard his accent um because the type of music that that comes out of california is jerking duggy club function party type of get your soul moving get your feet moving get yourself dancing type of music um that's the style of music that comes out of california just like you know the dirty south has their, their type of music the east coast has their type of music florida has their type of music um so me biting the beat um, and saying, you know, that I took his beat. That's not the case. I do a wide variety of, of music and styles of beats. Um, I just wanted to do some. My Bible's in the air. I just wanted to do something for my backyard. My backyard could dance to and everything like that. Um, as far as the, the lyrics in the song, um, I made the song in, I made the song in 2010. So it was two years um, um, time lapse that, that, that I heard uh, uh, the uh, TP's version of Bible's in the air and that I heard um, uh, I did my version. So uh, I did the hook. First thing that came to my head when I did the hook was Bibles in the air, Bibles in the air. Not TP's version. That was not in my head at the time. That you know I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, I was just thinking about you know being unashamed of the gospel and putting your Bible in the air. I called up my boy Jesus Geek. He laid down his verse. Did some stuff to the hook. Um, so, but when I write, I wrote my verse. I wanted people to recognize. Where I got specific lyrics from, just like people recognize, you know, oh, he got he used Turbo B. Uh, <coughs> I wanted people to recognize where I got specific lyrics from, just like people recognize that, you know, I use oh, Turbo B. Uh, overdose mine. He got that from Lecrae. I wanted to say we respond to reaction from oh, he used the TP lyric. Oh, shout out to TP. I wanted that same reaction, but I did not get that reaction. Um, people say that I stole TP's entire song. That's not the case. Plagiarism um, is when I, if, is if I took his entire song and put my name on it, made a video and tried to sell it on iTunes. That's not the case here, people. The biggest different, the lyrics are different. Just so happened that the name is the same. Um, uh, just like, you know, and, and the name has nothing to do with copyright infringement, plagiarism, none of that. Because there's plenty of songs out there that has the same title. For instance, um, Lecrae has a song called Go Hard, Go Home. E-40 has a song called Go Hard, Go Home. Prey has a song called Going In. Lil Wayne and Drake has a song called Going In. There's a lot of songs that's, you know, I Love You. has the title I Love You. has the same concept and everything. Does that mean that they stole the original song? No. That just means that they had the same concept, you know what I'm saying, flip music up a little bit. Um, and in today's hip-hop, that's what people do. Um, they, you know, they, you know, sample a lyric and they make another song out of it. That's what people do. Um, but, um... Uh, that Black Knight does not steal um, or co copy bite um, anybody's music. Um, last but not least, man, shout out to TP, man. Um, this I haven't followed you before this situation, but because of this situation, I've I have come to learn more about you, uh, about what you're doing in the kingdom, man. Keep on doing what you're doing in the kingdom. I see you have you know some some great people, some great fans that's behind you 100, percent and I you know I appreciate that. Um, and so uh, I just want to let you know if, if you feel like you've been slighted, I uh, apologize on my behalf and on the behalf of the people who's put those comments out there because uh, people's opinions is not what it, it, it actually is. And the truth of the matter is that I did not bite the track. I did not try to, you know, take or make my own. I just made my own and put it out there, you know, put it out there. Uh, and so that's that, man. Hit me up, man. So, we, you know, we can talk on a more personal basis and let's leave it at that um, so we can put this behind us, man. Um, and to address the iTunes thing, people, um, people out there, it is on iTunes, man. Uh, put it out there, but I'll, I'll take it down. 
Um, but it is my song. I'm not taking it down because y'all want me to, but I'm taking it down because I was I did originally release it as a free download. It is on iTunes, but I haven't promoted it. I haven't said, oh, get my single off of iTunes. But no, it is a free download out there, people. It is a free download. Um, so that's that, man. I don't have to bite anything. Um, Black Knight Creations, I create my own music. Um, if you follow Black Knight, man, I, I did stuff with any Minio. I did stuff with Jason. I did stuff with RMG. I did stuff. I did stuff with KB on his upcoming record. A lot of people, Melinda Watts. So um, I, I've been blessed uh, with the talent and the ability to use for the kingdom of God and to work with you know many people um, that's 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 walking and, and doing great things for the kingdom. Um, so you know I just want to let y'all know that Black Knight does not have to you know bite copy. He did not bite and copy Bob's in the air from TP. Just so happens that you know uh, he you know. Uh, he has a version, and I have a version. 2008, I came out with mine in 2012. Uh, so we just going to keep on walking. I'm going to just keep on, you know, uh, doing this and, and, and living for the Lord and walking in the kingdom. So after this video is done, I hope the controversy ends. I, I, I know that people are still going to have their opinions about everything. I know that, you know, people are still, some people's ministry is to stir up confusion and controversy. And I hope that people don't take bits and pieces from this video and try to flip and say that I say some things that I didn't really do it, that I didn't really say. Um, um, let's not do that. That's wrong. But let, let's, let's unify. Let's be in, uh, as one and let's bring this to a closure. And hopefully this could be settled. And, uh, and that's that Black Knight um, creation. Uh, um, you know, I love what I do. I love the Lord. Um, so that's that, man. Let's let's put this to an end. And I thank y'all for watching this video. This is the official Black Knight response to the whole Bibles in the Air uh, situation. So I love y'all. Be blessed. And I'll see you guys later.